from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hi, this is Robert Brammer, and with me is Barbara Bavis. We are legal reference specialists here at the Law Library of Congress, and today we're going to talk with you about Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a database of state and federal case law that is available for free on the Internet. To use Google Scholar, navigate to scholar.google.com, click on the Case Law button below the search box, and then type in a citation or a keyword. Okay, next we're going to show how to do a search in Google Scholar with the citation of a case. First, we're going to choose the Case Law button here. In the search box, we're going to put the citation for a case. The one we've chosen to do today is Brown v. Board of Education, and that's 347 U.S. 483. Just going to hit the search button here and you'll get a results page. Notice here Brown v. Board of Education is cited by a lot of cases. Um, you won't always see those citations on your results page. I'm just going to click Brown v. Board of Education here and we're going to get the cases page. Now notice here there is a difference between Google Scholar and your typical commercial legal database like Westlaw or Lexis. Uh, the main difference you're going to see is there is a lack of editorial enhancements in Google Scholar. So you're not going to have a synopsis of the case, head notes, or other such information here at the top. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to search by keyword. I'm going to search for hostile work environment. Okay, so now you see the browse screen, and over on the left, I'm going to show you how to narrow down your results. I'm going to search for the cases from the Supreme Court. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Select Courts on the left. Now you see all of the different courts available to you, and they have check marks by them. Uh, that means they're included in the search. I'm going to go ahead and clear all of the courts. I'm going to hit Clear All by State Courts, and then Clear All by Federal Courts. Then I'm just going to check Supreme Court. Then click Done. And now I'm getting all of the results for hostile work environment just for the Supreme Court. Okay, next we're going to look at the How Cited feature in Google Scholar. I'm just going to choose a case from the results list for hostile work environment, Harris v. Forklift Systems. And you'll notice on the case page, at the top of the page, there's going to be a How Cited link. If you choose that link, you're going to get a list of the cases in the Google Scholar database that cite your case, in this instance, Harris v. Forklift Systems. I want to note a couple things about the How Cited feature, however. First, on the left-hand side, it's going to give you an example of a few cases and how they have cited your case. But there are a couple downsides to the Google Scholar feature. One is that at a glance, you won't be able to tell how each of these cases dealt with your case, whether they supported it or didn't. Another problem is that you're only going to be um, getting the cases from the Google Scholar database, not all of the cases that have ever cited your case. To have these features, you're going to want to look at a citator. Um, to find citators, you're going to go to your local public law library and pick out uh, publications like um, Shepherds or Keysight. But the good thing about, about this How Cited feature is that it does give you kind of a general idea of how this case has been dealt with in different cases and directs you directly to cases that have cited your case. On behalf of Barbara Bavis and myself, thank you for joining us. If you have any follow-up questions, please navigate to www.loc.gov. Click on Ask a Librarian at the top left. Next, click on Law under General Collections. Then at the bottom of the screen, you'll see Ask a Librarian Online. Click on the online form, 
fill out the form, and we'll respond to your question within five business days. Thanks again. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.